Let's make two Ninja Creamy ice creams, chocolate and strawberry. Welcome back to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill and today we are going to do ice cream for Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day out there to all you moms and to especially to our two moms, Connie and Sue. Uh, Connie's my mom, Sue is Jeff's mom, and Jeff's mom has actually gone plant-based and she's doing really well, so I wanna congratulate her for doing that. Let's jump into this ice cream because they both love ice cream, as do we. We're gonna make strawberry and chocolate today. So we're gonna start with the strawberry. I've got one cup of strawberries that I just roughly chopped up. We've got a tablespoon of raw cashews, five pitted deglet dates, and if you're using medjool, um, if you like it more towards the sweet side, you would use three, but if you like it a little less sweet, use two. Then one teaspoon of vanilla, and one cup of unsweetened soy milk, but you can use whatever plant milk you like. But I would just stress that it's unsweetened because the sweetness is gonna come from those whole food dates. Now we're just gonna blend this up until it's really creamy, until those cashews and the strawberries and dates are completely pulverized. All right, there we go. And I've got my Ninja Creamy canisters here, and I'll show you the Ninja Creamy in just a minute once we get these two things blended up. So these are enough for two people. It's almost a pint that this makes. Okay, and it shows on the, on the jars here, there's a max fill line that you don't wanna go above. And then we're just gonna snap that down. Let's set that one aside. Grab another blender here, and we're gonna make the chocolate, which is our favorite. I've got one really ripe banana. The same here, five diglet dates. One tablespoon of cashews, but if you wanted to make it kind of a peanut butter, like a chocolate peanut butter flavor, you could substitute that for peanut butter. Two tablespoons of a really good cocoa powder. One teaspoon of vanilla. And one cup of unsweetened soy milk, just like the other one. So simple, right? Hardly any ingredients. We are just in love with this ice cream because it's so simple. It's so frustrating, you know, when you go to the grocery store and you're in the mood for ice cream, and then you look on the back of that carton and see all of those ingredients. It's a lot of fillers, a ton of fat. There's usually oils. This is super healthy and I bet you won't be able to tell the difference. To me, it tastes as rich and creamy as Haagen-Dazs. You're never gonna believe it. So the same thing, we're just gonna blend this up until it's all the dates are completely pulverized. Okay, there we go. Set this over here. Pour that in our container. All right, so now I'm going to stick these into the freezer. I'm gonna clear out this stuff and I'm gonna grab the Ninja Creamy and our uh, other two canisters that I made yesterday because you need to put these in the freezer for 24 hours before you spin them in the Ninja Creamy. So I'm gonna clear this out and grab the Ninja Creamy. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of free printable recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy cookbook series are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting membership community. So if you love our recipes, I invite you to join us on our mission to make plant-based cooking easy and follow the link in the description to become a supporting member today. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, we are ready. I've got the Ninja Creamy here, and I have a lot of appliances, and I kind of have a thing about having too many appliances. So when this came out 
a lot of my friends said, you have to get this machine. And I said, oh my gosh, another appliance. I don't need another appliance because I'm perfectly happy with our nice cream. Then my friend made some. I, I'm in awe. I don't know, understand how it's possible that it can make almost exactly the same recipe that I use for my banana ice cream. But this turns out like haagen style ice cream. It's unbelievable. So just a note, this apron right here is officially available on our website. We'll give you a link in the details below. In the past, I've gotten questions about my aprons because I make them myself. So I decided to make this version, uh, several of them, and we'll have them for sale if you wanna go check those out. Okay, on to the ice cream. So we are gonna make chocolate because that is Jeff and my favorite. And we'll save the strawberry for another day what's great about these, you make your cups ahead of time, keep them in the freezer, make sure you make them a couple days ahead of time so you don't run out because you're gonna wanna eat it every day. All right, you stick this down into this container and get the lid, clicks on, super easy. It goes straight in and then you just turn it to the right and it clicks, turn it on, and then we use the light ice cream setting. And I'm gonna spin this once, then you check it. But usually with the first spinning, because this is a lower fat type of ice cream, it looks a little, a little bit crumbly. So sometimes you have to spin it, uh, re-spin once or maybe even twice. So we're just gonna start with the one. There's no denying the plant-based diet is a nutrient powerhouse, but did you know there are a handful of hard-to-get nutrients even well-crafted diets are often lacking? The latest research suggests that complementing your diet with a few specific vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s will help boost your energy and keep you thriving for the long term. That's why my daily health routine includes Complement Essential. Complement Essential contains the eight critical nutrients lacking from most plant-based diets and dosages optimized specifically for us. Plus, Complement is completely transparent about ingredients sourcing and third-party testing, publishing the results directly on their website. As a special discount for our viewers, just use code PLANTBASEDEASY at checkout to save 15% off of your order. Okay, so I'm going to show you what this looks like for the first time. Looks a little bit crumbly still. It's not quite all uh, rich and creamy yet. So we're going to put the lid back on. Back in the machine but then we're gonna re-spin it. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Let's check and see if it's done. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Ooh, it looks so creamy. And there's also a mix-in feature to this. Uh, once you get your machine, you can look into all of that good stuff. We don't really use that feature because we like it just as it is. All right. I'm gonna divvy this up between two bowls for us both, and I'll meet you at the table for a taste. All right, time for ice cream. Oh my gosh, look at that. See how that is so thick. Oh my gosh. All right, but it's all about the f taste, right? Hmm. That is so rich and creamy. I can't believe it. I can't believe this machine can make ice cream like this. You could eat this every day and no worries. Hmm. So come on back next week for another great recipe.